Asakat Cat vs Abyssinian Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Asakat stands out for his spotted coat, which gives him the look of a small wildcat. The short, smooth, satiny coat comes in 12 colors, all of which feature dark thumbprint-shaped spots on a light background. Like the Abyssinian, which was one of his ancestors, the Asakat has what's called an agouti coat, meaning that each hair has several bands of color, the exception is the tip of the tail. The spots are formed where those bands of color meet. Rows of round spots run along the spine, and more spots are scattered across the shoulders and rear end, extending down the legs. Broken bracelets of spots encircle the legs and broken necklaces adorn the throat. The tail has what look like horizontal brush strokes going round it, sometimes alternating with spots. Markings around the eyes and on the cheeks make the Asakat look as if he has been at work with a mascara tube. Some Oshi cats have classic, mackerel and tick tabby coats, which are beautiful, but aren't correct for the show ring. Those cats have the same great Asakat personality, however, and make wonderful pets. The Asakat has a medium size to large body. He is muscular yet graceful. Large ears corner the modified wedge-shaped head. Some Oshi cats have tufts of fur that extend vertically from the tips of the ears. Large almond-shaped eyes angle slightly upward and can be any color except blue. The lengthy tail has a dark tip. The abai is often said to look as if he had just walked straight out of the wild. That's because of his tick coat pattern, which resembles that of wild cats such as cougars. A tick coat has alternating light and dark bands of color on each hair shaft. Everything about him suggests his lively, attentive nature. The abai has a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with large, broad ears, the better to hear you with. Large, almond-shaped eyes of gold or green express interest in everything they see. On the face, dark lines may extend from the eyes and brows. The muscular body is graceful and athletic. It falls into a middle ground between the stocky, or kabi, body of a breed such as the Persian and the long, svelte body of the oriental breed such as the Siamese. The body is supported by slim, fine-boned legs atop small, oval, compact paws. Abais are often said to look as if they are walking on tiptoe. Swishing behind them is a long, tapering tail. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The devoted and playful Asakat loves people and will trail their footsteps through the house or ride on a shoulder. Guests are welcomed by this generally social cat as new opportunities for petting or lap sitting. Oshi cats don't even mind being carried around as long as they are with you. As with any animal, they come in a range of personalities, so some are more shy than others. Favorite activities include retrieving toys and learning to walk on a leash. Oshi cats are highly intelligent and learn tricks easily. Puzzle toys are a good way to keep them occupied and entertained. Carefully put away anything you don't want him to have. He is perfectly capable of figuring out how to open doors or undo latches. His Siamese ancestors bequeathed the Asakat a tendency to be vocal, but he is not as loud or as demanding. He is sensitive and will respond to nothing more than a verbal correction. Although the Asakat is adaptable, he doesn't like being left alone. Be sure he has another cat or dog as a companion if you aren't home during the day. Of all the cat breeds, the Abyssinian is perhaps the one who lives life to the fullest. He climbs higher, jumps farther, plays harder. Nothing escapes the notice of this highly intelligent and inquisitive cat, a quality that makes life with him both endlessly entertaining and continuously challenging. You never know what he'll get into next, although you can assume that if you have something or are doing something, your abai will want to investigate it closely. Sometimes it may seem as if the abai never sleeps. He is ever in motion, jumping up in the window to look at birds or squirrels, leaping on top of the refrigerator to supervise meal preparation, perching on your desk to watch your fingers move over the keyboard and then swiping at them so you'll pay attention to him instead. This is a playful, persistent cat who adores being the center of attention and will do anything to achieve and maintain that status. The abai loves to play, so plan on making or purchasing a variety of toys to keep him occupied. Ping pong balls, bottle caps, wadded up pieces of paper, puzzle toys and teasers such as big peacock feathers will all amuse this busy and brainy cat. Teach him to retrieve at your peril. Once you start, he won't let you stop. He learns tricks quickly and many abais enjoy running a feline agility course. A love of heights is a signal trait of the Abyssinian. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. When those aren't available, he is perfectly capable of making his way to the uppermost point of any room. Fortunately, he is naturally graceful and rarely breaks items unless it is simply out of curiosity, 
Abais are adaptable throughout their lives and fit well into any home where they are loved and given plenty of attention. In a home where people are at work or school during the day, the Abai is best with a companion, ideally another Abai, who can match his activity level. If left to his own devices, the Abai may well dismantle the house in his search for something interesting to do. Beware. The Abai can be addictive. Once you've had one, you may find that no other cat will do. The Asa cat's short, smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. The short, Fine coat of the Abyssinian is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath when the cat is shedding will help to remove excess hair more quickly. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails weekly. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. The gentle and playful Asa cat is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. It's likely that the Asa cat will dominate other cats in the household and may even rule the dogs. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. The active and social Abyssinian is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-aged children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Abais have also been known to get along with large parrots, ferrets and other animals. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.